hey, this is your friend from space. We're gonna look at Deadly Space Action number eight. Um, this episode kind of best represents what I feel is the core irony of the show, which is that any kind of actual space action has to be denied. Or, uh, has to peter out for the main characters. I mean, there is action, but that resolving climatic moment is never allowed to happen. Um, so in this episode I got to design a little more of the interior of the ship, because it has a weird layout, being that it's a giant, rigid, metal snake. So, you know, of course it has to have a pointless elevator shaft down the neck. Uh, snakes don't have necks, but, um, but this one does. So, um, the fun of doing a cartoon that is quasi-serial is that I can have throwaway characters like the Torch Bros, and then at some point down the road decide, you know, hey, let's not throw them away and use them again. You know, Lemarian's parents, why are they green? Well, it's, it's funny and inaccurate, but... You know, maybe there could be another reason for it, too. It, it's very fluid. Um, I never explained in the show how Lemarian came to acquire the rattleship. Um, most likely it was not legitimately. Uh, when I was writing episode two, I had it in my mind that he was kind of a homeless drifter that had just snuck on board a ship to have somewhere to sleep. And then maybe something horrible happened to the crew while they were on some mission, and he wakes up to an empty ship and says, "Hey, you know, I'll just claim this for myself." Um, like I said before, it's something I can explore in the future if I want to with the with the uh, minisodes. So this is the first scene that I think kind of nails the Sage Orton dynamic. They're just like danger tourists. Um, not a whole lot really phases them. It's not because they're badass or anything, it's just because a lot of this is kind of out of their control, so why worry about it? Um, there's actually a, a super pivotal reason why Orton is not worried about danger, but that is a story for another day. Well, it looks like everything's going to be okay after all. It does, Orton. It truly does. Well, it looks like so I, th I think this episode was the most popular one on YouTube, but it's pretty much only because of this scene. People love their cartoons. Um, the dialogue was actually originally just a little bit meaner before I scaled it back. I kind of figured this one call out was good enough. Um, there's no need to just dogpile. And now we've got what? the next storyline set up. On the next episode, everyone has to get a job. Especially me.